Hey there everyone and welcome to GTech. Today I'm going to be showing you how to get Ubuntu 11.04 on your Google CR48. Now, um, disclaimer, I'm not responsible for anything that happens to it, okay? Neither is the writer of the guide I'm following, Jay Lee. So, if you mess up your Chrome notebook to a point of no repair, um, that's pretty much your own fault because you followed this on your own will. So. With that out of the way, I'm just going to go through, I'm going to show you how to do it, and I'm actually going to do it because I messed up mine and had to start over. So, um, the link for this blog post is in the description, however there are some changes that I'm going to walk you through in this video, so please watch it. So, um, the first thing you want to do is you'll want to enable developer mode. You have the bottom of the CR48, and then you have a little battery latch, you just push that over, maybe there we go. push it over take out the battery and then look on this side of it and you'll see the battery contacts and then right next to it there should be a little piece of black tape covering this little switch here the tape looks like that right there but it's over here covering this so once you get the tape off you can throw it away you can put it beside it you can hold on to it whatever Anyway, so you see the switch here, and the switch should be switched to the right, okay? Now, take a pocket knife, or a butter knife, or any kind of knife, or a pin, or anything, and just push that over to the left, near the contacts, and then you're good to go. So put the battery back in, and open it back up. Now, when you open it, and start it up, you will have a sad face come up. Now, you can sit here and admire the sad face's beauty or whatever, but that's kind of boring. So, if you don't feel like waiting for it and having it beep at you twice, which it will do if you leave it, you can press the Control D button, and it will dismiss it, and you will be brought to the Chrome screen. Now, you guys will have a screen that says it will be erasing your stateful partition. This means that it is erasing all the information on the CR48 itself. And you'll have to go through the setup process, but after you get to the login screen, make sure that you're connected to Wi-Fi. Um, I'm connected to Wi-Fi and it's also trying to connect to Verizon, but I will stop it. So once you're here, you need to press the Control, Alt, and Forward arrow key. Now that key is the one right there. Okay, it acts as the F2 key. So, once you're here, it'll say a whole bunch of stuff to you, and then at the bottom it'll say localhost login, and in this you need to type in C-H-R-O-N-O-S, Kronos. Okay, then if you're following the blog post, you will get a line that says W-G-E-T, H-T-T-P, colon, backslash, backslash, G-O-O dot G-L, backslash, H, NKXO semicolon pseudo SUHNKSO. So, what does that mean? Well, you're downloading a script made by Jay Lee and then you're executing the script. However, I've had problems when I was trying to run the script. So, um, what I've done is I just type in WGET and I type in the link and then I don't type from the semicolon on. Just hit enter it will download it and then it will give you another prompt now I type sudo space su space root so that it runs it as root space hnkxo now it will ask you what size you want your Ubuntu partition to be it says 5 to 9 um, actually 5 to 10 but 9 is the recommended maximum and I'm going to choose 9 you will want as much room as possible for Ubuntu so, it will take a little bit and it will modify the partition table and it will partition it and get you ready and set up for Ubuntu. Now, after it's done partitioning, it will reboot and you'll be taken back to the Chrome login screen. So, let me just skip forward to that now. Okay, so we're back and now it's starting up again. We ju we'll just press Control D. and your system is performing a self-repair process please wait this will take approximately five minutes so I'll skip through this too 
So we're back and just gonna press Control D again. And now we see the Chrome screen again. And select a network. So you will want to log on to a Wi-Fi network. So one minute. Connect to Ross Camp. and continue and then you can accept and continue this it will check for updates and you'll be at the sign in screen again now you do not sign in just press control alt right and you'll be taken back to here sign in as Kronos again Let's type in WGET space HTTP colon slash slash GOO dot GL slash HNKXL semicolon space pseudo space SU space root space HNKXO and hit enter. Now, if you need all of these codes, you can look on the blog post or you can look in the description. And after you type that in, it will re-download the script and it will now start downloading all of the individual files. Okay everyone, it is done unzipping all the files and it's rebooted and now, 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 maybe. Maybe... You have Ubuntu! Yay! So, now that you're in Ubuntu, you can do whatever you want, whenever you want. You don't have to have the internet, and you're pretty much set free. So, <clears throat> Now that you're in Ubuntu, you might be wondering, how do I get back to Chrome? Well, go to the terminal, and in the terminal window, um, there is a code on the blog post towards the bottom that you can enter in here, and it will change the boot so that you boot back into Chrome OS. And then there's another code that you type in in Chrome OS that you can boot back into Ubuntu, so you can switch back and forth or you can toggle the developer switch underneath the battery but I don't really like doing that so that is it you have Ubuntu now congratulations thanks for watching this video if you have any questions if you have any troubles if you just need help with this please feel free to comment email me gavin at gavinroskamp.com and I will be happy to help you thanks for watching please check out the blog at blog.gavinroskamp.com and I hope to see you next time